Mr. McLean. Good job, buddy. Okay, I can get it back on. You hammered him, he's down. Sweet. Put it right between his right behind his head. Did you? Right there. Awesome. That was awesome. Beautiful, buddy. Awesome. Oh, things Thanks. turn around so quick. Right on. That's awesome. Tell us what. Tell us about your gun. Uh, 300 PSC, this thing's good unloaded here. Pull my ears out. Yeah, yeah. Whew. Man, that was a perfect setup too. It was, <laughs> you, you kicked the rock over here? I was like, I want to use the rock. Oh, I thought you wanted me to move it for no. you. <laughs> it worked out where you did. Anyway, so the build I got here, 300 PRC, uh, Defiance Anti-Hex Action, DLC'd. Proof carbon fiber barrel, uh, chambered by actually Development Solutions, Kent Thiessen, over in Ontario. I uh, got a Mark IV on the top of this, MDT rings, obviously HNT chassis, Skypod for the wind, double pull. Yep. Happened to have my comp one in the truck, so yep. threw it out, was able to go. Yeah, you can see the bipod marks there. Set up right on here, just like that. <laughs> And he, he didn't want to give me a good side shot. Baroni, are we 100 yards? Yeah, we're about 100 yards. Maybe 120, 100 meters. 165 yards. Really? That's the oh. maybe the backdrop. Oh, okay. Anyway, uh, but that shoot 205 grain burger bullets. Uh, hand loads, they're ac super accurate. Yep. And I felt super comfortable on where the shot was Sweet, going. that was a perfect shot. That thing dropped right like a ton. What scope you got there? Mark IV. Brand new, brand new Mark IV, Leopold, Four. six to 24 power. Sweet setup, like I say, I'd run this thing for you, but the mag's in there, it is smooth like silk. Look at that, I mean, butter, man, just butter. The, the whole build. Without the bipods coming in about eight and a half pounds. Sweet. Awesome. That turned out beautiful, man. <laughs> Let's go walk up on them. You come around these corners all the time. Yeah. Like, is that a culvert? Exactly. I think it's a culvert. Or I think it's a log. Because you said to me, is that a bear? And I'm like, oh, I'm not sure. I don't think so. And then and then we both had to both see. You looked at the binoculars. I'm like, I think it's a bear. And you said it's a bear. <laughs> so we just backed the truck up. And uh, we had good wind. Yeah. I knew we'd see a bear today, guys, but you know what? I was having my doubts. I think I was too cocky today when I said, <laughs> we're gonna see bears, but it worked out. It is about 7.30? 7.18. We got an uh, hour of daylight left, yep. a little bit more. So let's walk up on them, have a look at them, and then- uh, Easy pack out. Yeah, easy pack out, okay. Awesome. Size looked decent, looked but- decent. Bears are very deceiving, as we all know, guys, but... Uh, I waited until he brought his head up, yeah. and he looked like he had an okay size head. Yeah. We're not here for the trophy size. I mean, it's a bonus if we get a big one. It's a lone bear. We, Ryan really wants the meat. His wife loves the meat. His family loves the meat. That's our main priority here. We've got two more tags now, yep. so we can be a little more picky yep, exactly. if we want to. But, I wouldn't mind getting a color face. Color phase, any size, right? Yeah. yeah, exactly. He went down like a pile of rocks, though. He but did. Like he, I said, I, I waited till his head went down. You probably see it in the video. Yep. I can't remember. I don't. I was looking. I don't. I wasn't looking at the camera. I think I was looking at you yeah. when you shot. But as soon as I looked at the video screen, I seen that he was down. There might be a little ground shrinkage here. I think so, <laughs> but that's okay. There's not a lot for it to be feeding on here, but it's obviously finding something. That's not too bad. It's better than the one last year, eh? Yeah. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the mosquitoes on him. Oh my God. He's got a really nice hide. He's done. He's done. Look at the mosquitoes on his head. 
Yikes. Perfect. Lift up his head. No, he's a nice bear. It's, it's female. They like say not a huge bear, but we don't care. It's the meat we want. Yeah. And we only got a few days to do this, so. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to get busy right now and uh, go get the truck and then come back and uh, take care of this guy. So one bear down, guys. Hopefully we'll get another one or two, one at least on this trip. And uh, great shooting, Ryan. Thanks, man. That was awesome. One shot. You one shot, one kill. We just finished uh, taking care of the bear. Uh, carcass is gone. We deboned the whole thing. We got all we could off it. Uh, don't bother with rib meat, but we took all the neck meat, the back straps, uh, all the meat we could. And here it is all here. And it's a nice bear. There's no worms coming out of it. And that's the first one in a long time that uh, we haven't had one ha that happened to, eh? No, that was a nice one. Cool. So, awesome job, Ryan. Good spotting, good shooting. Yep. You got yourself some nice burger. Absolutely. Yeah, we did, did the job. Now we just gotta go and maybe take one or two more down, we guys. Exactly. It's only Friday night. We've got Saturday night and then Sunday morning, all day tomorrow, all day Saturday, actually. So yeah, so that's gonna conclude this. We're gonna go back to camp now, cook, probably cook some some burgers and then uh, have a good night's sleep and we'll be back at her again tomorrow. Uh, the last two hours is always the best. That's, so you got the whole day to waste until that basically. Might get lucky and we have and uh, hopefully we'll get lucky again. Well, and we, we keep on saying that you look around a corner and you, mm -hmm. you think it's a garbage bag or a culvert. Yeah. We're, we were actually at our wits end tonight. We didn't know what to do. Yeah. So we just thought we'd go up farther up the road. We've never been up here before and uh, Come around the corner, not too far, and there's a bear on the road. Sweet. Stay tuned, everybody. Might have a little more action tonight, maybe in the camp cooking burgers or something, but uh, mosquitoes are absolutely crazy. They don't, not really bite in us, but they just land on you all over the place. So we are gonna pack up before, while we got daylight still before we lose stuff and can't find it and uh, go have a bite to eat. So thanks everybody for watching today and uh, we'll see you either later tonight or in the morning. Take care. Oh, good morning everybody. Look, I still got my sleeping toque on. I don't need that anymore. But uh, it's like 5.30 in the morning here on Saturday, May the 4th. And uh, we just finished eating. I'm gonna arrange the truck because it looks like a yard sale in there. And then we're gonna go out and look for bear number two. So we'll take you along as always and wish us luck and uh, let's go. Ready, Ryan? Yep, let's rock and roll. All right, man. Okay, chat soon. Man. This is my view. Absolutely beautiful up here. So we were cruising around looking for bears. Didn't see any bears. It's 20 to 10 right now. And uh, checking out some new area because the areas we usually hunt have, aren't green enough and there's no bear sign and we're not seeing any bears. So we came to this area and we're working our way down the valley on the opposite side now than what we have been hunting just to try and find more area. And uh, we've seen this structure here built. First thought it was a meat pole but went up on closer inspection. This is a First Nation sweat lodge, I believe. As you can tell, they sat in here and they put heated those rocks up, threw water on there. And you can tell because they're cracked and they must have tarped this here up and sat in there and uh, did what they do, sweated, I guess, I don't know. It would probably be pretty comfortable in there, nice and warm. I guess they heated the rocks up on this fire and then carried them over. It turned out to be a beautiful day today. We're not finding, we haven't even seen much bear sign today.
River is down there, I believe. It's nice up here. There's a little lake down there. Anyways, Ryan's just making himself a coffee. Thought I'd give you guys a little update on what's going on today and what we're doing. Last night was very comfortable. It was warm. I got up at like 3 in the morning to relieve myself and it was so warm outside. I think we got back to camp at dark. It was like 16 degrees. So it was very comfortable sleeping in the tent last night. Didn't need the heater that I brought. So that was a bonus. But... Uh, we got to find some more bears, which is what we're going to do, hopefully, tonight. So stay tuned, everybody. If I see anything more interesting here, I will let you know. And uh, Ryan's cooking a coffee. How's your day going, Ryan? Slow so far. Well, it's beautiful. New areas. Yeah, beautiful out. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do today. We'll chat with you guys soon. Hey everyone, just a quick update here. Nothing to really see, but it's 11 o'clock now and we just seen our second bear. It was on the road feeding a small one and it took off too quick before I could get the camera out. So that's about all I got to tell you about right now. This is, we're just exploring. We're, the area we're in is a lot greener than what it was up higher. We're a lot lower. So we're going to Probably have lunch here soon. We got some freeze-dried foods and then we're going to continue hunting. So. Oh, we're really putting the miles on today. We went all the way over there, all the way down. Now we're coming back up on this side of the river. Lots of green here. We decided to stop for lunch. It's a little after one o'clock right now. So for lunch we're having spicy sausage pasta. That's what Ryan's having. And looks like I'm having beef stroganoff. It'll be the first time I try one of these kind. I can't look at alpine. What are these called? Those are peak ones. Peak ones. Peak fueled. First time I ever tried one. So that's what we're up to right now. That's not good. Uh, it comes off. But uh, it'd be nice to see a bear come strolling down that road down there. Still not seeing much for bear sign up here. We just started up this road and decided to stop for lunch and just do a little glassing. So that's what we're doing now. And then we're going to continue on. A nap would be nice too, getting kind of tired, but uh, we'll continue looking after we eat. Hopefully I can show you some more bears. Well, everyone, we came to the river to have a look and all I can think of is how much I want to run this river. And I just might do that. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Should I take my boat on this river? It goes a long ways. It could be challenging in places I hear. But uh, I think it'd be fun. So it's still the middle of the day here. We're just kind of killing time until the bears decide to start coming out. Nice little camp spot here. Meat pole. Nice and grass or green in here. Not dusty away from the road. So yeah, maybe I'll run this river one day. Let me know what you think in the comments. Yeah. Here we are back at camp and we got her all torn down. Trucks all loaded. We're gonna hunt our way out and then head home tonight. Um, Morning hunts don't seem to be productive anyway, so Ryan can get home at a decent time. I can get my lunches and laundry and everything done since... Process my bear. And process the bear, yeah. Yeah, so we still might get one tonight. Fingers crossed. Yep. Okay, everybody, stay tuned. Video's not over yet. There's an elk, guys. Just going into the timber. Stop. Yep, there's a whole herd of elk. Okay, we're looking at a bear spotted up on the hill there, right below to the right, about five o'clock of that uh, waterfall, and you can see him there. Okay, we found ourselves another bear. He 
He knows we're here. We haven't decided yet if we're going to shoot. But uh, it's 428 meters. We're going to... Hard to tell how big he is. He's got really big ears, as you can tell there. But uh, keep you guys posted. All right, how to turn this on. 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 He's coming down the hill. He's rolling now. You see him? You see where he is? Yep. He's up on those trees. I see nothing but blood when he was rolling. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, I see nothing but blood come down when he was rolling. I kind of thought I missed it first, but that was a bullet fucking going through him. Yeah, that pass. That was a full pass through. Yeah. I got it on film too. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Yep. 128 meters. Thank you, Ryan. Yep. Now we got some work to do. We got to get up there. <laughs> and get him. Okay, awesome guys. So now we got some work to do. We'll uh, talk to you on the way up. I'll take you guys up there with me. Oh, you guys, I'm hiking. Not a lot of daylight left. It's very steep. Very steep. Whew. Ryan went back to where I shot from. Spot for me. Tell me where I gotta go. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to hold this. And walk at the same time. Whew. I'm gonna keep walking. I'll get back to you guys here. Hopefully, I'm gonna find that bear soon. <sighs> Alright, hang on guys. He came tumbling from way up there and he got hung up in these trees. So now I gotta get him down to the bottom and then I'll get back to the road and I'll get Ryan to uh, give me a hand. Coming back in, we'll get him. Hopefully, we'll drag him to the vehicle. Uh, it's steep here, dudes. It's really steep. Ugh. Ugh. Not a big bear, but like I say, we're here for meat. Okay, I'm gonna push him down the rest of the way here. Here we go. Wish me luck, guys. I got no sling on my rifle. It is like 8 o'clock. I don't have much daylight left. Uh, like I said, not a big bear, we knew that, but uh, we came up here for the meat and that's what we're here for. And uh, we took them 428 meters. I uh, hit him right in the boiler maker, I believe. I've seen blood spurting out of him when he was rolling down. So uh, I'm gonna get this thing out of here. I just came down from up by that waterfall. I made it in, I don't know how long it took, what did it take me? 45 minutes. 45 minutes to the top and down and finding this guy, which wasn't eat, which I thought would be a lot harder than it was, but we made the right decision by leaving Ryan down below and me beat feeting up top there and him giving me hand signals. Radios would have been better, but we didn't have any. So uh, we just went with hand signals and it worked out good. And then once I got to the bottom, told, I told Ryan I got the bear, Ryan parked down here and he walked in fixed up to the base of the cliff. And 
met me there and we dragged this thing out together. And uh, so the shot was 428 meters, a little bit of an uphill, but the binoculars, they compensate for all that. And uh, not the biggest bear, but we're heading home. Good enough. Uh, more meat for Ryan and his family. Yep. everybody. Uh, we're going to get busy on this bear. Well, we still got a little bit of daylight, and uh, now we're going to head for home. Thank you very much, Ryan, for putting up with me all weekend. Pleasure as always. You, sir. And, uh, yeah, 338 Lapua, MDT HNT 26 chassis, and a Kdex uh, Shepherd, um, proof barrel, APA butt brake, Night Force. A winning cup combination right here, I'll tell you. This we just finished processing our last bear. It is now uh, 9.20 in the evening. We're heading home. We got two bears. Nice. Perfect. It was, we did a lot of, lot of hunting. It was really tough. We've seen, what, five bears in total, eh? Five bears total, Five yeah. bears in total. This one here, we had to work for a little more, but uh, it turned out good. Good shot. Beautiful backdrop. I'm sure you've seen the waterfall and stuff. Uh, thank you, Ryan, for taking me along with you. 100%. It was, it's awesome hunting with you, as always, and uh, we'll do it again as an annual thing now. Absolutely. Awesome. Successful. Cool. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the notifications button so you don't miss any of the future content. And uh, take care, be safe, and see you later from Alan Ryan. Take care. See ya.